Seto. I'm actually going to just like outright say Confident Charlie. I mean, it was on the floor at least, Nate. Don't worry. Confident Charlie <laughs> is like seriously one of my favorite players, period. Like actually in my like my top three favorite players to watch. So, right, I'm, so I'm hoping he's got that confidence. Oh, man. Charlie came and he just left immediately again. He to get more water? He <laughs> yeah. He wants to go get more water. He wants to go fill up the bottle this time. So, so, so he got himself a cup. And he's like, you know, this cup's not going to be enough. I, I need to go ahead and get more. So he went to go ahead and fill up a water bottle as well. So wh which one do you think he's going to drink from first, right? I think what's going to happen is he's going to play game one. And then if it goes, if he loses it, uh, he'll he'll drink from the cup. And if he wins it, he'll drink from the bottle. Hmm. It's a mix-up. I think he's just going to drink the cup outright first. Yeah, I think the cup And then And then he's just going to be like, you know what, bottle afterwards. Because the cup is just easy access. You just pick it up, sip it. With a bottle, you got to open it. But sometimes you need that like little bit of fidgeting. You know, like, because you have a lot of excess energy from what just happened. So that way, it's like a stress understandable, ball. Understandable. And also, it lets you get even more hydration. Oh, because he wants to drink it right now. Oh, yo, yo, this is the tech. Yeah, you know, oh, I see, I all see. Right, all so right. the water was for now. He wants to hydrate himself after that tough set against TOTC. And then he has a full bottle to take himself through these next three to exactly, five games. Exactly, exactly. All right. It's a good thing we analyze what's important in the upcoming set. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is the water tech, guys. Yeah. You know, you got to stay hydrated. Oh, as as much as we're making a joke of it, like seriously, hydration is like you know one what, of the you know what, Charlie, ways to you, you make a, a great bit. point. I I I too am gonna take a sip you're of gonna, water. You're gonna take a Although you have no water, I'm sorry, G Big. So he is uh, me okay, no way. Okay, all right, yeah, go in, go in the Fox Mirror. When these guys met in doubles, like they were doing the Fox Mirror as well. Um, I think I think it makes sense for Eons to try the Fox Mirror, and if it goes sour, then he can try the the Pichu. Because we we've seen it also just from Void's Pichu in general, like that that little mouse can tear up space animals. Here we have the fist bumps are in order. Stadium going to be the starting stage. And we're going right into this Fox Mirror. And this is something we've seen time and time again back in Smash 4 here in SoCal. And we're just having it one more time. Yeah. It's like nothing actually has uh, changed too much in terms of like the way that they're approaching each other, their comfort against each other. They're diving right in. And especially when they're in advantage, they're, they know how much they can press it. I love that just... Like doing that dash attack, knowing he had no combo, and then stuffing the jump escape right yeah. afterwards too. And Great stuff by just Charlie. Just knowing exactly what options they want to pick themselves. Great get up attack right there, coming out from Eon, showing no fear. Ooh, I thought we were gonna see a tomahawk instead, but no. We had an up tilt. Here we have Charlie just trying to mix it up Eon already. Yeah, Eon using his side Bs. Not able to get too much more, but at least stops at the ledge. That's actually not a bad yeah, option. Yeah, just beca because Charlie was there right at the ledge. And yeah. since he hit the shield, he just dropped straight down. Oh, oh try to use the Firefox. Was hoping he can get that last hitbox and go ahead and pop him right into the stage. Oh, yeah, that, that tricky little tr two-frame tacky. But that Firefox actually has a little bit more disjoint than it used to. Makes it slightly harder to contest. A good spot dodge, but an up smash to clean it up. Charlie getting the first stock. Oh, I love that answer to the jump in. Neon is just, oh yeah, the back air actually does it by itself. Oh, I thought he was going to have to look for an edge guard right afterwards. All right, one up tilt, not going to be enough, but Charlie goes in there to get the grab as well, but up tilts are online, leading into the dash tag and the forward air. Solid 75%. Charlie actually getting caught by that down air. I think he was trying to do some more airborne intimidation. Ooh, wow. Fantastic read coming off from Charlie. Got the roll in, up smash to take it away. Eon, though, it's basically his turn, right? They've been taking turns trying to body each other's stocks. Is he going to find the time, though? Is Charlie just going to keep it going? Wow! I love I love the shuffle. Just jumping right in his way. So they try to get up attack and punishing it right afterwards. There's Eon running back and forth, trying to find his opening. Got an f -tote, and they're both just trying to test one another. Really trying to find their openings. You can already see they understand the character so well. Know exactly what options that they want to push into neutral. Neutral air has Charlie at the ledge. What's going to be the mix-up? Oh, he tried to run up. It didn't even matter. Ran up, whiff grab, back air. It was like it was a hip check. And then, yeah. Yeah, but Charlie has been able to go ahead and get these long-lasting combos. And that is what he's getting so much mileage from. Because when he's getting a hit, Eon ends up coming out sitting at 70, 65%, something of the sort. And now, even then, the up smash catching that get up too. Yeah, just like you said, the uh, Charlie's able to just eke out that extra little bit of value from his uh, from his punish game over Eon, and that that little bit it adds up over the course of a three stock game. All right, going into game two now. I wouldn't even be surprised if we keep going to stadium or just switch over to battlefield. I think those are probably primarily be the two stages to see, especially yeah. here in the mirror. 
Uh, absolutely, if it stays the mirror. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait. We do wait. have that Pichu, remember? We were yeah, talking we, about we that. Yeah, we are getting well. the Pichu. Okay. I thought Eon would be content sticking it out with the mirrors just because it was going down to the wire, but no. Wants to switch it up, going to a new character instead. And what I'm looking forward from this Pichu is seeing these edge guards. I just want to see Eon go off stage, use that back air, use the neutral air, use anything really to just harass Charlie from getting back to this stage. And the one dynamic that's even more scary is that Pichu can ledge trap as well, especially with that forward tilt. Oh, that forward tilt, the big toe? That is some scary stuff. Charlie finally finding his first opening. Uh-oh. Hot off stage. Down air. Oh, he ends up taking the stage. Nice. But it does not matter, Eon. Relentless. And that's the power of Pichu's recovery, right? Like, you can contest it, but because it goes so far, he can follow you to the depths of the blast zones and still make it back in one piece. Yeah, Eon not even worried about these lasers. Just eating him itself, understanding. I'm already at 80%. I know if I get up, smashed him dead. <laughs> yeah. But the Pichu pick looking quite clean so far. Charlie not sure how to go ahead and get, uh, get a hold of it. And just like uh, we see Charlie trying to do these jump ins, and Eon just prematurely nares out a shield. And he keeps beating out Charlie's uh, wanted approach of this nair. Nice! Ooh. Beautiful! Yeah, he flipped your gun to that for sure. Charlie just trying to dance around the shield with the neutral air. Eon just not giving in, but you know, eventually I'm gonna, we're gonna see a tomahawk possibly get into the grab. F tilt online taking that stock. Eon another stock lead. Gonna chill off stage a little bit too. A full lead as well, but Charlie's at least trying to force these trades on the edge, which trading with Pichu isn't actually the worst thing because he's just so light and he already does damage to himself as well. Last hit of that back air, actually sending Charlie off stage. Great up smash and an answer. He's like, you know, you want to go ahead and pressure me up here? Can't do that for free, my man. And now it's Eon's turn to find himself that first opening. That stock change so terrifying. Wow. He, he needed that tech. Yeah. If he did not get that tech, he was most likely dead. That could have ended so much more worse, but still 89% against Eon, especially if he gets sent off stage again. We can see something really nasty happening. And he waited it out! Fantastic stuff from the Eon, patience. evening up this set. And the thing that's so great is Charlie laughed. He laughed the moment he let he go knew of it. He was like, you got me, like, you got me. You just, you got it, you saw it right through me. Fair enough, fair enough. That was beautiful stuff by Eon. Just completely turning the... <laughs> <laughs> One of the slickest kills we've seen so far. Right back onto Charlie. And that's just the power of Pichu. I mean, Pichu has the same exact thing, but it's, you know, it's, it's just scary the, when the, that uh, cloud is above you. That that base thunder hit by Pikachu is not as scary as Pichu, <laughs> and it doesn't come out nearly as fast. Nope. <laughs> but on the plus side, it, uh, on the flip side, it is like four percent to Pichu every time you do it. So you know, it's balanced. It's, it's the trade-off. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 It's balanced, you know, just so long as you hit Pichu. Then then it's balanced. Yeah, it just doesn't help when he's small as well. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's so small, and then, like, how do you win neutral against him? Don't worry about that. It's balanced. Yeah, but all right, here we go. Game three. The Pichu is going to stay online, and honestly, I, I would do the same exact thing, Eon. And I like the fact that he tried to do the Fox Mirror in the first place. Oh, yeah. Try to fill out the waters, and once he saw that it's not going to go his way, switch the characters, and that counter pick came out in a big way. Oh, absolutely. A little late on that grab, Charlie. Able to go ahead and get the punish. Wow, a lot of damage right there just from the rapid jab. Yeah, here on Stadium, I'm assuming Charlie's going to try to take advantage of the, of you know the big space. Wants to use the blast zones to his favor as well, but it's going to be very difficult going against Eon. Eon already is in tune to going up and really just challenging. Charlie at the same time when he's landing these neutralers, just like that, immediately jumping up with his own neutral air. Yeah, it's it's. Charlie's having a lot harder time doing his jump-ins against, against this Pichu, and he has to find himself something new to be comfortable with, but it's hard because, like, okay, yeah, I guess little, those smashes he, are... Well, yeah, no, okay. he got a little too overzealous with the forward toes. Yeah. One too many big toes, going to get punished. Yeah, I mean, I, as much as we were joking, but, like, between games, like, that is legitimately the, the challenge of Pichu is you have this fantastic neutral, so much power, so much speed, but if you mess up, like, two or three times, that is actually your stock. So clipping out the landing, Charlie's keeping up the pressure. This should be a punish. Oh, he did not turn around, unfortunately. But the shine ended up coming out to beat it. He might have actually expected to roll in, and uh, roll in that direction too. Both that of them just trying to call each other out. You he, see that I, shield? He, he tilted down his shield too. Yeah. 
and he, he finally ran up and just did another tilt. Like your 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 shield of Skittles. I got this. Yeah, you can't you can't block all of them, my man. All right, Charlie running back and forth. He gets caught by that up tilt. Not enough percent to go ahead and try to combo though. Mm -hmm. Going forward with a lot of just approaching shields now. I mean, he's actually been able to find a lot of punishes on block against Eon, so it does kind of make sense. But Eon's now mixing up, adding more multi hits in his arsenal to make it harder to do. Yeah, Charlie really just fishing for this neutral air. Wants to get this stock. Oh, but he's in a tech chase situation against Pichu. They do not want to be in there. Yeah, no, he's a little telegraphed on these kills right now. I'd like to see Charlie slow down just a little bit, try to find a backer, try to find the Beautiful. right move just like that, allowing yeah. that hitbox to come. And again, that's that's something that everyone should always be contesting Pichu on, because even though it can be a little bit scary to read where Pichu's going with it, because there's no hitbox, there's no risk for you to try to catch it. Yeah, and at the same time, whenever you do see Pikachu or Pichu doing that quick attack, their hurtbox has actually extended as well. So yeah. throwing out a hitbox is actually in your favor a lot of times. There we go. Combo game. Not going to get too much out of it, but a falling upper leading to so much. Oh, beautiful movement. Yeah. Just waiting for these whiffed aerials. I think that's where Charlie's starting to find more success, too, is just making Eon be the one to act first, as opposed to coming at him and being interrupted by Pichu's speed. Yeah, he's definitely just letting Eon pick that first defensive option. And once he sees it, he's on the hunt to just immediately punish it. Mm -hmm. Side B, luckily has a lot of distance. Able to go ahead and get away to not get punished. Charlie barely off the mark to get that up smash. We'll possibly see an up air? No. Directional air dodge instead. Once again, Eon's opportunity for an edge guard. He finds himself an F tilt to keep it going along. But again, another side B keeping Charlie back on stage. Hey, that's one way. Hey, that catches a lot of potential options. <laughs> hey, you, I thought you were in a roll in, dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a scary position to be in right underneath Pichu. Yeah. He doesn't find that back here, just barely miss a line. But yep, runs. and there we have the F tilt getting punished yet again. Charlie re reacting immediately because you don't have a lot of time to get that. Yeah, you can't. I don't think you can buffer up smash out of shield the same way you can buffer up B out of shield. You do have to actually react with yep. it. But uh, very solid stuff. Really, like, really making Pichu not look as safe as he first appears, given his speed. Or at the very least, not without, like, the most utmost perfect spacing. We're going to get back to that Fox Mirror. Yep. Charlie now on set point against Eon. And this was the matchup that he won on game one as well. Yep, I know. And this is where Eon ended up getting his one win, going back to Kalos. It's like Charlie leaving the stage on the table, banning others. Yep. Again, there is no DSR here in the uh, California recommended rule set. Right, players really just putting the set in their own hands, and right now, Eon is cooking just a little bit. Has a nice lead, which I would lead into that forward air as well to get some more damage, but Charlie, why is he just getting out the way? And Eon riding so much momentum right now. Beautiful yeah, stuff and, getting. And this is really just the character switch, because right now, Charlie is just used to the Pichu. He was used to how that character was approaching him. Now he's going back to that Fox like, okay, I need to reset my thinking. Like, you're a completely different character. You have my options now. Yeah, exactly. Eon again looking so fierce with the second opening. Finally getting hit on this stuff. Ooh, and the parry coming out from Charlie. Small punish, but that is something that Eon's going to have to be weary of approaching with his neutral layers moving forward. Because mm -hmm. later on, that can become an up smash. <laughs> Just jumping at each other. Same option. <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> symmetrical <laughs> violence. Who's pushing it first? <laughs> okay. Charlie's trying to clean it up with the Osmash. Not going to be on the mark. Oh. Yeah, a little too slow on that. Just barely. And that's going to cost you your stock. Already Eon now working on the last one of Charlie. Still on his very first stock. Making his way back from the ledge as well with relatively little issue. I think you're right, Miho. I think that just that change of pace from the Pichu to the Fox is just what he needed to clear his head. Wow. <laughs> Eon having all the confidence to just go for that up throw and immediately with that up smash, understanding Charlie's going to hit that neutral air. Now he's just watching this ledge. Is he going to find that fall off there? He does and keeps the pressure going. What a nice edge guard. Just needed that extra bit of hit stun after the first one. Yep, Charlie sitting at 96, has a... Literally a mountain to climb with an extra stock that Eon has. Might be going to a game five now, G-Pick. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd expect it. Given I mean, we have, like, back airs are going to be online soon for Fox to kill, and then the same old Nair up smash. And it then we even matter. We got the forward smash instead to take it away. Yeah. Eon taking this to game five. Yeah. That was, I, I think a big part of that was just such an explosive opening where, like, taking the, the opponent's first stock 
like, really quickly, that doesn't necessarily break their back. Like, you still have two more to play with. You can make that back in overall value. But when you lose the first two, that sort of comeback, especially against a momentum machine like Fox, can be uh, can be kind of impossible. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Pikachu? Eon, okay, okay. Eon actually really thinking about it. He's like, do I want to rock the Pichu? Do I want to go to the Fox? But staking it. Tried and true, go into the mirror yet again on Stadium. The same. Ooh, with stage. the Gladian. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> this is the same stage again as Game One. That the mirror uh, was in Charlie's favor as well. So this is the. We've already seen it once before. The question is, has Eon learned? How much has he uh, adapted from the previous games? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it looked like he adapted quite well in that last one. Yeah. Taking his time on that platform, hoping to catch uh, Ooh, one of these. Charlie jumping shield. right over that getup attack, but. You know, a little bit off the mark to get that full punish, but even then, he's just looking like he understands what Eon's trying to go for. But when you get caught by those up tilts, you're taking a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Waiting for a roll in, it looked like. Didn't find what he was looking for. But th that's the plus side of sniffing out roll in is that you don't give up stage control when you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, he has him off stage. Often you just get the stage control instead. Wants that forward smash, but Eon wisely just jumping right over, not dealing with anything else. Couple of back airs, yep. Right on shield, not gonna do anything else. Immediately disengaging. Knew that up smash was online and getting an up smash himself. Yeah, Charlie looking a little bit too hungry for that option. We've seen it pay out for him so much in these pat, not just this set, but the one before with TLTC. But uh, Eon putting it in its place. Char <gasps> Charlie off no, stage. No way. Did we get a shine. No, I don't even know if Eon wanted to go ahead and grab the ledge there. I think he wanted to drop down and get a forward air possibly. Yeah, I think he did as well. That's, that's the scariest that when your opponent is lined up perfectly with the ledge, being able to drop without fast falling. A smash and not going to connect. Beautiful tech out from Eon and still living from the back air. Charlie going to go out there? Yes, you did. Back air getting that stock, sitting at 63 now. Well, you know, that's not too bad for a Fox. You know, a couple of conversions, a couple of uppers will put you right back into this game. Charlie finding himself the first grab. Oh, trying to wait out that, that shield with a jump in there, but getting anti aired for it. Yep, a couple of trades off these neutral airs as well. Ch Charlie does not want to take these trades right now. Able to land down, though. All right, here at the ledge one more time, and there we have Eon going for the forward smash this time around. A lot of careful movement by these guys, and a lot more blocks. Oh, oh! Red the roll down smash, not going to be enough, though. Waiting at the ledge. Doesn't get the uh, the neutral getup I think he was looking for, or getup attack. Oh, try to go for the slickest grab. Eon not giving it to him, but you know, Charlie getting a bunch of these neutralers. Has him right back at the ledge. <gasps> oh, he wanted to land, he's not gonna get it. <sighs> yep, down smash, gonna clean it up. Eon now reclaiming the lead. It's Charlie's last stock for this set. He has to make this comeback now. Uh, that being said, it's only about a stock and a half very much within the realm of possibility for Fox. Yep, and there goes the back throw, trying to get the stage positioning yet again. He does up tilt, sending him right back up, and the upper to take it, only sitting at 6%. This is exactly Last what he stock. needs. Last stock, oh my, oh my. We, I mean, we've come to expect this when Charlie and Eon And, and this is major. just fitting, this is fitting. Yeah. Going back to a Fox mirror, game five, last stock. This is what we were all waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Eons are they both just going to keep narrowing on yes, each other's Yes, backs? they are, G-Pick. <laughs> There's no other button. <laughs> we, oh. we, it's only Nair, Up Air, and Up Smash. I don't know. We already see the Up Smash coming out because Charlie's at that 88%. Ooh, Charlie sniffing out the illusion. Got that Up Air. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. There goes the Up Smash. Oh. That's going to be it. Eon taking it. Game five over Charlie. And that's.